When a granular mixture of different sized materials is shaken or vibrated, the larger particles rise to the top. This phenomenon is called a granular segregation, or more popularly, as the uh, Brasenet effect. It's a common everyday experience to uh, open a box of muesli to see that the uh, large sized nuts are at the top of the box. Let us uh, demonstrate the Brasenet effect with uh, two different experiments. First, a I take a bunch of nuts. Here we see a large walnut. We see pistachios. We see peanuts. We also see a Brazil nut. And I'm going to uh, vibrate this uh, column filled with nuts. Watch the uh, large walnut find its way to the top. I do another experiment in which uh, I take a glass column and uh, fill it with uh, two types of materials. Silica particles of 2.8 millimeters with a density of 700 kilograms per cubic meter, colored blue at the bottom, and smaller polystyrene particles with a lower density of 200 kilograms per cubic meter, colored yellow, you might say, at the top. Let's vibrate this column as well. The larger, heavier silica particles, colored blue, have risen to the top. For an explanation of the size behind uh, the uh, Brazil net effect, visit uh, this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, also, read the paper I co-authored with uh, Ellen Berger and Van Du on the conditions required to uh, realize the uh, Brazil net effect. Both the vibration frequency and amplitude need to be large enough to uh, realize the Brazil nut effect. Lower frequencies and lower amplitudes result in the reverse Brazil nut effect. Let's demonstrate that with two different experiments. On the left hand side, we uh, take a column full with uh, polystyrene particles colored. Uh, white and we have a large brass intruder that is heavy and has a density of 5300 uh, kilograms per cubic meter. The polystyrene particles are 1080 kilograms per cubic meter. And I'm going to uh, vibrate this column at a high frequency. You see the intruder has risen to the top. On the other hand, if I uh, vibrate the same column at a lower frequency and lower amplitude, let's see what happens. The brass intruder sinks to the bottom. In order to understand the differences 
in the uh, two different experiments where we have realized the Presonet effect and the reverse Presonet effect. Let's uh, focus on uh, the brass intruder and see what happens in these two cases. Let's start with uh, vibration at a high frequency. We see as the particle is particles are vibrated, we create a void space below the intruder and uh, as the uh, intruder rises, the void space gets filled up with the lighter polystyrene particles. So the void filling mechanism is the reason behind the uh, rise of the larger, heavier brass intruder. On the other hand, if the vibration occurs at a lower frequency, then uh, the phenomenon of void filling cannot occur and the large heavy particle sinks and we have the phenomena of digging or the reverse Presonet effect. Let's have a look. In order to understand the sinking, we have here a marker and we see relative the mar to the marker, the uh, large brass intruder is progressively sinking or digging. Higher frequencies, larger amplitudes result in the Presonet effect. Lower frequencies, lower amplitudes result in the digging phenomena. These are explained um, in this publication, Powder Technology 2006.